The Russian military in temporarily occupied Crimea is deliberately placing military facilities next to civilian infrastructure in order to deter Ukrainian strikes. Analysts of the U.S. Institute for the Study of War have said they have analyzed the data on the missile attacks on military facilities on the Russian-occupied peninsula and came to the conclusion that the casualties in Sevastopol were caused by the actions of the Russian Air Defense Forces rather than the results of targeting missiles. Civilian casualties in Crimea resulted from Russia's interception of an incoming Atacams missile rather than a deliberate Ukrainian targeting decision. The Russian Ministry of Defense acknowledged that a Russian air defense interceptor caused the Ukrainian missile to deviate from its flight path and detonate in Sevastopol, from a report by the Institute for the Study of War. Ukraine does not strike civilian facilities. The Russian occupiers deliberately disregard the safety of its people. The Speaker of the Ukrainian Naval Forces, Dmitro Platinchuk, has said there can be no fictionist science of so-called peaceful life in Crimea occupied by the Russian army. The office of the president of Ukraine is sure this is a territory where hostilities are taking place, the very genocidal war launched by the Russian Federation. Crimea is also a large military camp and warehouse with hundreds of direct military targets, which the Russians are cynically trying to mask and cover up with their own civilians. Mikhail Podolyak, advisor to the head of the office of the president, President of Ukraine on Telegram. The Russian Defense Ministry has blamed the United States, which supplies the Ukrainian armed forces with weapons for attacks on Sevastopol. This manipulation, according to analysts from the Institute of the Study of War, is aimed at forcing Washington to stop helping Ukraine. The Pentagon said that Ukraine itself had the right to decide which targets to choose during the military operations. The U.S. Department of State said that the actions of the Russian Federation lead to much worse consequences on the territory of Ukraine and the loss are not comparable. We lament any civilian lo loss of life in this war. We provide weapons to Ukraine so it can defend its sovereign territory against armed aggression. Uh, that includes in Crimea, which of course is part of Ukraine. And Russia could stop this war today and end the suffering caused by the war Russia launched today if it would stop its occupation of sovereign uh, Ukrainian territory and stop launching attacks on civilians. The Ukrainian Defense Forces will do everything to deoccupy the peninsula. Russia cannot count on the Ukrainian Armed Forces to stop destroying Russian bases, warehouses and other military facilities in Crimea. Now the Ukrainian Defense Forces are preparing the ground for strikes after the transfer of F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine, the Brussels insider has reported. Crimea is vulnerable. The Russians have relatively limited maneuver space on the peninsula. Putin has a lot to lose, both politically and militarily. So, if a limited number of fighters can have a real impact, it is here and above the Black Sea that becomes fully accessible once the ground-based air defense on Crimea is dealt with. Frederick Martens, an analyst at the Hague Center for Strategic Studies, in a comment to Business Insider. The Ukrainian Defense Forces have been systematically destroying the Russian air defense in the occupied Crimea. According to the Ukraine's Center for Strategic communications of the armed forces of Ukraine, the Russian occupation army on the peninsula has lost dozens of S-300, S-350 and S-400 loungers, more than 15 radar stations and more than a dozen control points in the months and a half. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.